to the 100th episode of Tried and Tested! <laughs> the room is actually filled with stuff from some really awesome brands and here's the thing, they are all for you guys. Before we get to the giveaway, I'm going to answer some questions that you guys have asked over the past few years and here we go! Why is there a bed in your kitchen? So actually, this is called a studio apartment. For those of you who live in like bigger countries, you might not understand the need for studio apartment but Singapore is very small and space is very expensive. So actually, in highly populated cities, these studio apartments are quite common. Can you do a room tour? Can! So actually, today is really quite crowded. So we did a room tour before this. Let's roll it. So this is usually what it's like before we start. Let's zoom out. That's the mic. It's not a green screen. This is a real room. Okay, come, I'll show you the rest of it. This is the director's chair, and then all her notes here and snacks. So when you watch the show, it looks like I'm sitting in front of a window, right? Like it's daylight coming in, but it's not. Because actually that's harder to control, like if the sun goes up or down and it starts raining halfway. So we always light it artificially. It just makes things easier. Back here is the bathroom, and outside the bathroom is all the equipment. <laughs> This bathroom is quite wonderful. Look, fresh towels. So it's like a semi-hotel kind of like feeling here. So no, the answer is I don't live here. <laughs> I wish I did. It's so nice and clean. So there's this TV that we've never turned on before. Look, it even comes with flowers. Thank you, Ruby Central, for supporting us all these years. So then over here, we have our bags, some stuff to bring home to test, and more snacks! Every try and test the episode, we need to have snacks. If we don't have snacks, more stuff here, hidden. And sometimes we have lunch on this table as well. And over here is the little kitchenette. There's even pots and pans. Tea, if you wish to have a spot of tea. Because I don't live here, there's nothing in the fridge. It's just completely empty. Microwave oven, fully functional. We've actually used it in a couple of the episodes. And more, another hidden light here. Hello. Sometimes you see like the bed shift or the room size changes. It's because it's a different room. Like it's still in the same service apartment, but maybe this room is being rented out. And yay! So that's about it. This is my room. When I should try and test it. Hope you enjoyed the room tour. So many of you have commented on my accent. For those of you who said you loved it, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Okay, and some of you have said that I sound uh, African, Caribbean, Latina, Indian, French, British Asian, Australian Asian, a mix of a lot of different accents. Where am I from? I am from Singapore. Singapore is a little red dot that is next to Malaysia. It is in Asia. I grew up speaking uh, English. We were taught British English in school. And then we also have a lot of American TV and movies here. And then I also studied Mandarin. That was my second language because I am Chinese. Sometimes I use words that are not from the English language. It's probably part of Singlish. So Singlish is kind of like a mix of all the different languages and dialects that we have here in Singapore. What do you do with all the products after filming? We use some of them, but most of them we keep. We have like these little boxes, they're all categorized for eyes, for lips, for cheeks. But we clean them out periodically, so don't worry. It's been five years, we know you can't be using things for that. Okay, I hope that answered some of your questions. There are actually too many for us to answer all of them, so we just picked the ones that were most commonly asked. Now the producers have some questions for me. What is my all-time favourite episode? I would say the clever gimmick or real deal. I love gimmicky things and I always kind of hope that they work. And they always look so interesting. Do you really work? And when they do, I'm very happy. Oh, the food! The food episodes! Yes, all the snacks! Anytime I need to eat one, like, like you see this kind of thing? This stuff makes me so happy. How I got started with Tried and Tested, my then management actually just sent me for an audition. For the audition, I was supposed to do like a review of a beauty product. So <laughs> I got there and then I was like blabbering on, I don't know about what lad. I'm an actor, so I'm very used to having lines. <laughs> so this was the first time I had to like talk about how I felt about something. So not used to it. So I actually really learned a lot, yeah. Totally didn't think I was gonna get it. So anyone who I would love to have on the show but I haven't had on yet. Song Jung Ki. You cannot speak English. It's okay. His skin is so nice. He must have some tips. He he also got masks, you know, he got his own mask and Monday to Sunday. Maybe I can review your mask and then you can come on and talk about your mask. About why you like it, and I can tell you why I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Ooh, okay. Now is on to our biggest 
ever giveaway. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so a while back we asked you guys to send in some entries if you wanted to be on the show and that we will pick two winners, right? There were so many nice messages and some of you were saying how you watch the show from episode one and how you've grown with the show and how much you enjoy it, how it makes you laugh. And some of you made comedy sketches. <laughs> some of you did like songs, you composed songs. And some of you from overseas and some were like also boys. When I watched the videos, I was really touched because I never expected that kind of relationship with the show. We had a big try and test that family. And it wasn't easy, but we did pick two winners and they're right outside. So I'm gonna bring them in and they are going to get first tips on everything here. Come in! Hello, hello. Welcome to the tried and tested Wonderland. Ah. Oh. Michelle, right? Yes. And Farisa. Farisa. Ah. <laughs> We got two shopping bags for you guys. Yes. As winners, you get first dips on all the products in this room. <gasps> so you get to keep everything oh, so cool. you can keep in this bag. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. I can take everything, but my bag is getting so full. Oh, oh, my, my, god. God. oh my god! I want the whole box! This is so pretty! <laughs> and we're done shopping in Tried and Tested Wonderland. Are you guys happy? So happy! Very happy. <laughs> So all the remaining stuff here that wasn't taken are going to go to you guys! We're going to separate them into 10 mystery sets and also, bonus, a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so that means we have 11 things to give away. 11 winners. All you need to do is leave a comment in the comment box down below telling us which one you want, bicycle or mystery set, and our top 11 will win. <gasps> I'm so excited for you guys, so excited! Remember, I registered Click Network account. Guys, 100th episode. You should know this by now! <laughs> okay, wait, before we go, I have something left for you guys. Oh my god! <laughs> and actually, <laughs> technically, these fit into the bags because... Oh, yes. oh that's true! <laughs> oh my god! Not just for them, I have something for you guys! So guys, these episodes don't happen without an amazing team. This is for you. I love you very much. Thank you. Also to all of our viewers who have followed us throughout all these years, uh, thank you for your support. This show is not possible without you, viewers like yourselves, who come over and share your love and your happiness and leave the comments. Who knew that we would get here? And I hope that we will be testing out walking canes and adult diapers <laughs> with you in the future. So thank you for your love and uh, yeah, thanks guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so this brings us to the end of our very special 100th episode. We hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, <laughs> go be beautiful!